it's Brittany and Katie with the Q team in Rochester, New York, and we are still all well. Um, we wanted to acknowledge that we realize we haven't been on in a few weeks based on everything that's been going on, but we wanted to check back in with everybody and just give you a quick recap of what is and what is not allowed pertaining to our current real estate market. Awesome. So as of right now, um, there are no in-person activities that are allowed in you know, the real estate world. So that means no showings, uh, no photographers, no walkthroughs. Um, we wanted to let everyone know that home inspections are still allowed for those inspectors that have gotten clearance as essential. Um, and the latest update from the state is that the buyers are not allowed to attend the home inspections, but the home inspectors are able to communicate with them virtually um, and they have reports and pictures and videos and you know all they've all made accommodations to be able to make sure that buyers are able to safely have their homes inspected. Um, and buyers can still buy and sellers can still sell. So what does that look like? Because you're hearing that people can't <laughs> go out and people can't let people into their houses. So what does that look like? So for our sellers who are needing to sell right now, homes are still selling virtually. And a lot of that, we've always said that the first impression is with our pictures and it's never been truer. Um, so we're, got, we're helping our sellers navigate how to properly take pictures and then how we're helping them with virtual tours and strategies to be able to best market the home in this new virtual market that we're in. And for our buyers that need to buy, um, we're coordinating those virtual tours with the listing agents um, so that we can get them and go through them virtually with our buyers. So it's essentially a virtual showing um, that we can be with the buyers like over the phone or over FaceTime or over Zoom or something. Um, so that we can still be there and talk you through the showing as we would as if we were there in person. Um, and then of course, as Brittany stated before, like home inspections are still allowed. So if you do find something and you're concerned that like, I don't want to blind buy this, um, you can still hire a, uh, an inspector to go in on your behalf and just make sure that there's no major issues. Um, some buyers are making their offers contingent on being able to physically see the property. Um, which we could certainly work in as a contingency and buyers are or sellers are actually like open to that because there's it's just the world that we're in and everybody's in the same position and situation um so for our people who are have been looking for a long time and have been stuck in this crazy market competitive market um we're seeing a lot of those people take advantage of this time um because they've been through so many houses they know what they're looking for they know the styles they know like they can envision themselves walking through it. So they're actually looking at this as an opportunity that it's limited competition. Um, and they were noticing that they're a little bit less fearful of moving forward this way. Um, but we also realize that that's not for everybody. So we do have tips for our buyers and sellers who uh, are deciding to wait. Absolutely. Um, and I think it is huge as you know those buyers that are seeing this as an opportunity because there isn't as much competition as they have been seeing in the past you know they might be able to either take advantage of something they wouldn't have before or you know negotiate or you know all those great things would come with less competition right. um, but for those sellers that are deciding that we want to wait to list um, this is where you know having those virtual discussions with us is really, really crucial um, because you want to do everything that you can during this time to prepare your home now. Um, so we will do those virtual walkthroughs with you, give you all the advice that you need to make sure your house is ready, um, and do that pre-market analysis to determine what the value is, to discuss your listing strategy, and everything that we would do with the listing consultation ahead of time. Um, so use this time to deep clean, to finish those home projects that you have on your to-do list, um, declutter, organize, throw things away, uh, donate, and basically just ensure that the moment that the rules are changed, that you're ready to go right away. Mm -hmm. um, for buyers that are waiting to buy, um, we're encouraging you to use this time to ensure you've done all your pre-work on your end so that when things change as well, and all these homes that for those sellers that have been waiting to buy hit the market, that you're totally ready to jump on those. Um, so get pre-approved, determine 
what your wish list is, um, browse those homes that are on the market or previous on the market, determine what you like, what you don't like, you know, what your budget is, what your price range is, all of that good stuff that we would encourage you to do anyway. Now is the perfect time to do it. Um, so, you know, this time, whether you are looking to or need to buy and sell now, or if you are wanting to wait until, you know, things go back to normal, talk to us so that we can kind of best strategize how to make sure that you are prepared one way or another. Yeah, we'll get a, we'll help you get a plan in place, whether it's for now or for when everything settles and the market changes back to in-person showings and photographers allowed. And it's going to be crazy and we're going to have to hit the ground running. Um, but we want to be best prepared on our end and we want you to be best prepared on your end. Absolutely. Um, so everybody stay safe, stay, stay healthy, stay home. Um, we are here for you virtually as always. And we look forward to speaking to all of you. Mm -hmm. Bye everyone. Bye.